In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my web design workflow coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Mac and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my web design process. And this is also an updated video because there was a video that I uh, created uh, you know, some months ago, which had my workflow, but this time it has been updated because DV had just released a new feature that allows us to design websites in a totally different way. All right, so before I get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with WordPress and Divi. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about the workflow and how we're gonna get started and how to end up with a beautiful looking website professionally. So the reason why I decided to do this video again is because yesterday or a few days ago, Elegant Themes released a brand new Divi feature called Divi Presets. Now, this gives us the ability now to create presets, which then can be applied across the whole website or as you're designing your website. So this is very exciting and this is going to make it easy for us to design consistent looking website. So I'm going to give you my workflow. I'm calling it the Divi Design Workflow, but... <laughs> okay, disclaimer, this is not official from Elegant Themes. This is just my workflow as a designer and with years of using Divi. And this is the workflow that I think will produce great results. All right, so let's dive in and let's talk about uh, the workflow. So the very first thing you need to have in place is your color palette. Because if you don't have your color palette to start off with, you're going to have colors all over the place and things are just going to look visually very, very bad and frustrating unless you're making the colors as you go. But even if you do that, what you'll notice is you'll have to copy the hex code, paste it, copy, paste as you're designing. Whereas if you first choose your color palette and then add it into Divi, that color palette will be carried across your whole website as you're designing your website. Let me show you quickly what that looks like. So this is the website that I use to choose my colors that work well together. It's very easy to use. You can just click here on generate here on the top and then it gives us a color palette. Now I'm not going to go through and uh, go through the process of choosing your colors. I've done this already in other videos on my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and check it out. This is just a quick demo to show you how easy it is to create to generate your colors. So you can use the space bar and this is generating all our colors at uh, random. So let's say I want to start adding all my colors to my website. I can just come over here, click on design, and then go to Divi theme options. So here is our default color palette. So what you need to do is to come over here and copy the hex codes and add them over here. Now adding your colors here is very easy. You can just click here and then just override what we have here like that. Now, once you've saved this, in fact, we're going to save it now. Once you've saved this, every time you want to use color, whether it's on fonts, buttons, backgrounds, and so on, this color palette will be visible for you, which means you don't have to mess around with copying and pasting colors back and forth. So that's step number one, color. So make sure you how you choose your colors, add them into our theme options. Okay, next, fonts. So fonts are very important. So sometimes I see a lot of websites that have different types of fonts all over the place. This doesn't make your website look professional. In fact, it makes it look very, very amateurish, okay? So what you wanna do is to come over here to fontpair.co. It's a safe uh, website that helps you choose uh, fonts that work well together. So over here, you can see we have Laura and Meriwether. You can choose this. You can choose Prosa, Libri, and uh, Open Sans. So the good thing about this is you can also have a visual view of what this is going to look like on your website. So that is why I like this. And you can also go ahead and download the font and upload it manually onto uh, Divi. Or more, uh, chances are these fonts are going to be Google fonts anyway. So it's just a matter of just making a note of them and using them throughout your website. Now let's move on to the next thing. And again, this is also very, very important. These are your images. So when it comes to creating professional looking websites, images are very, very important. So you have to make sure that either you use a good camera to take your own images or you use royalty-free places online, royalty-free images that you can use on your website and apply graphics and effects onto them. And this is going to make your website look really, really nice. Okay, so with that out of the way now, let's talk about the DV preset. So I'm just going to come over here to my site and I'm just going to go to a page. So I'm just going to say new and uh, let's call this page style. So with this new feature, what I highly recommend that you do is to create a page 
and give it a name called style, for example, and then go into that page and uh, add all your elements and make them global if you need to. For example, let's say you want to have your paragraph text a certain style and you want to apply it across your whole website. Here's what you need to do. So you want to search for your text module like that. Oops, my spellings are all over the place. Anyway, here we go. Text. So that's our text module. So in order for us to set our DV presets, we want to come over here to the top, add new preset, and we can call this um, all paragraph, okay? So that's all paragraph text. In fact, let's just add the word text there. And then now what you can do is assign this preset to default, which means every time you're going to add a new paragraph, it's going to have the same style that you would have designed. But of course, initially, you may not want to add this as yet. So you can just save that. And then now it's taking us to our global settings in which I can just come over here to design text and I can start changing my font. So let's say my font here is going to be a Brill font face, for example. Uh, actually, you know what? That's not a good font for <laughs> for your paragraph text. Let me stick to my pop-ins, okay? <laughs> right, there we go. So I'm going to add pop-ins to that. And then you can also adjust the size here and your line height. So that's now going to be our preset. So I'm going to save that, save it one more time. So now if I need to add more text on my website, I can use this preset now. And uh, just to double check to see if it's there, I'm going to click on this drop down, and you can see all paragraph text now has been added and it's now my preset. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, if you want to make it global so that every time you add a new paragraph on your website, to do that, you want to come over here, hover over it and then click on this star. So that makes it global. So if I save that and save this one more time, I can now add a new row and let's say I'm going to add a text module in here. You're going to notice that it's going to have my same settings as what I have here on my global preset. There we go. And this star determines that this is being applied across the whole website, which is really cool. So you can use this for buttons, blurbs, images, and so on. So it's very, very powerful. And this is the feature that changes the web design workflow. So that's why I recommend that you create your style. Uh, you can call it a Divi style guide or whatever name you want to give it. And this is the page that controls how things look on your website. Okay. So with that out of the way, the next part now, which is again, very, very important in this workflow is to work on your templates. And to do that, you want to come over here to Divi dashboard and uh, let's save an exit here. So as you can see, our footer here doesn't look great. So in order for you to speed up your design workflow, you want to be working with your template. So you want to come over here to theme builder. And this is where you can have your global header, you can have your global body, you can also add a global footer. So this is very, very powerful because once you create your footer here, the design is going to be applied pretty much across the whole website. But if you want the, a different uh, design on certain pages, you can just come over here and add a new template. And this could be specific pages. So let's say you have a page that doesn't require any footers. You can just specify the pages here and exclude the footer on those pages as well as the headers. So this here is very, very powerful. It also applies to, let's say, WooCommerce. So let's say you have WooCommerce installed on your website. You can create t uh, pages that control how your product page look like. So you can totally customize your product pages and make them look totally different. So when someone came to your website, they wouldn't know that you were using WooCommerce. You can do the same for, let's say, uh, LearnDash. You can have specific pages or like uh, course pages that look really, really awesome, custom designed and so on. So this is my TV design workflow. And if you use this workflow, you'll always have consistent designed websites, which look very, very professional. So just make sure you have your colors, you have your fonts, you also have good images, and then create a style guide or a Divi style page, right? That style guide is what's going to control all the elements on your website as you add them onto your website because they will have all your default settings. So the reason why this style guide is very important is because if you think about it, if you're going to go in and design your button from start over and over again, it's going to take you a lot of time. So having this all set right in the get-go is a good move. And also the theme builder is very powerful in this uh, process because the theme builder will have specific designs which will be applied across the whole website. So these are the steps that I highly recommend. And uh, I'd like to hear how you would use Divi now that we have the new presets. So uh, let us know in the video comments below. And um, 
yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what you guys think with this new feature. All right, guys, pretty much that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I just thought I'll just update you and uh, show you my new workflow, which I'll be using in my design. So uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.